video from my Thanksgiving week 2016 bull shark dive in Cozumel. This is the scene that we were greeted with as we began our descent the 80 feet down to the chain where the bull shark dive would take place. The sharks were already waiting for us circling. That's always an, occur an encouraging sight. The bull shark season in Cozumel really starts in mid to late November. So there was some concern that there weren't going to be any bull sharks when I went on this trip uh, over Thanksgiving week. Thankfully, our concerns were unfounded. I had trouble keeping count of how many sharks we actually saw, although our dive guide, who has come to recognize many of these sharks, said that he counted 12 to 14 bull sharks. What's interesting is that the bull sharks that congregate around Playa del Carmen are all female. The bull sharks that congregate further up north, near Cancun, happen to all be male. Some theorize that the reason that many of these sharks are down near Playa del Carmen is because several of them in this video are actually pregnant. Now, a bull shark is a, is a wide and girthy shark to begin with, but if you pay close attention, you can see that the bellies on some of these female sharks are a little more rotund than one might normally imagine for a, a typical bull shark. This leads to an interesting question as to why the females are specifically in playa. Now, one of the unique characteristics of the bull shark is that bull sharks are one of the few species of fish, or, I mean a shark is a you know, cartilaginous fish essentially, that can easily go between fresh and salt water. One of the advantages of this adaptation is that the bull sharks who bear live pups will actually go into rivers and estuaries in order to give birth. Since most other sharks can't do this, it gives them a significant advantage because they can give birth to their litter of 1 to 12 live pups and not have to worry that another species of shark is going to come along and eat them. The juvenile bull shark can grow up in the estuary or even in the river without fear of harm from other larger predators. Their predilection for brackish water and fresh water is also one of the things that makes them so dangerous. Because they inhabit brackish and fresh water, they have a lot more exposure to humans than most other sharks. Bull sharks, tiger sharks, and great white sharks are considered to be the big three species of, you know, quote-unquote dangerous sharks. From what I understand, more humans are attacked inadvertently by bull sharks than by pretty much any other species. Some theorize that the shark attacks along the Jersey Shore uh, in the 1910s, I think it was just before 1920, that inspired Jaws were actually bull sharks and not great white sharks. One of the ways that the bull sharks hunt is that they tend to swim around in murky water, which happens to be usually near shore, and they bump things with their snout, and then they just kind of latch on and chew. And so if they're in this murky brackish water, or if they're in murky water where humans are waiting, that can lead to the occasional accident which is what most people theorize happens. Bull sharks have been found as far upriver as Illinois, if you can believe that. And here in Playa del Carmen, there are a lot of outlets for the cenote system. The Yucatan Peninsula doesn't actually have any rivers that flow on it. All of the fresh water flows underground through the porous limestone cave system that has created uh, the various cenotes. So here in Playa, this 
this particular location for this shark feeding is only maybe 800 yards off the beach. And here in Playa there's a lot of these freshwater outlets and that's why they think the pregnant females come and gather. The bull shark isn't a particularly large shark. Uh, females average about 8 feet, but they can get up to 11. However, it is a rather thick shark, as you can see. It's, it's real stocky in how it's built. It's not sleek like the Mako or the Blue. This was the one instance where I was actually a little bit afraid. The shark got caught underneath the rope and stirred up a bunch of sand. And you saw how many sharks were coming and going. And so I could just picture a shark swimming through that cloud of sand, not knowing what's going on and headbutting me. These guys, or I should say these ladies, often were within six inches of me, be it swimming over my head, swimming in front of me, almost clipping me with their pectoral or tail fins. They even followed us up on our drifting safety stop, which is what you see here. As we got higher and higher, they got higher and higher. They kept following us up and up and up. That was kind of cool and a little unnerving at the same time. In fact, they went all the way from the 80-foot sand, and as you can see here in just a moment, they followed us all the way to the drifting safety line.